Emily, weren't you doing pretty good at the whole uploading a video once a week thing? What happened to that? Well, me with glasses, uh, the thing about that is... <laughs> I talked a pretty big game at the beginning of the year, saying that YouTube was gonna be my new thing I was gonna try, and uh, I was doing pretty baller for a while, until I admit... Yeah, that's what happened. I'm still trying to figure out this whole YouTube thing, and I'm still learning the basics, like how long stuff takes, what works and what doesn't. I've been having a lot of personal struggles with productivity, and I'm trying to work really hard to get out of this slump. When I was writing my first YouTube video, I wrote how to start a new thing because I was having trouble starting a new thing, and that actually really helped. So I figured if I was having trouble doing the thing, I would write a video about doing the thing. I hope this helps, but if not, well, hey, at least I wrote a video. In my time and experience of trying to get creative projects done, I have found that there are three key components to every project. Unfortunately, it's like one of those triangles where you can only pick, like, two things at once and you can't really have all three at the same time. Inspiration, motivation, and means are the three main components to getting anything done. Sometimes you have the inspiration for something, but you don't have the motivation to get it done or the means right now. Other times you'll really want to be working on a project, but you'll be all out of inspiration. There's almost always some sick combination of two, but you never have all three at the same time. I have yet to ever experience having all three components at the same time, and I'm not entirely sure it's ever possible. So basically, if you try to wait to have all three at the same time to get something done, you'll never get anything done. What I found that you need to do is you need to try to make connections between each component when you can in order to make one whole complete triangle. The first connection is preparation. Again. The chances that all three things will line up for you are incredibly slim, so you should prepare for things so that way when they do line up, you're ready to go. Write down every creative idea you have when inspiration strikes, so that way if you're at a time where you're not feeling so inspired, you can look back and get an idea. That's why a lot of creative people keep journals. If you don't have the means to get something done right now, make a list of a plan of action so that way when you do have those means, you can get things done quickly and effectively. Being prepared will also help you stay motivated because then projects won't seem like big daunting tasks to you, they will seem like accomplishable lists. Determination. But Emily, isn't determination the same as motivation? No, me with glasses, shut up, you're not helping. Determination is having the will to see your project completed, whereas motivation is actually getting off your butt and doing it. Determination is having faith in your project even when things look grim. Innovation. I am going to say this as many times as I have to. Things are rarely ever going to line up perfect for you. The difference between projects that survive unforeseen setbacks, complications, and good old-fashioned mistakes, and the ones that don't, are creators that are able to think of innovative creative solutions around whatever the problem is. Look up some famous artists, writers, directors, musicians, and you'll find out some of the crazy shit that they had to work around to get some of their art made. Even Spielberg still gets praise to this day for how in Jaws they don't reveal the main image of the shark until an hour into the film, when in actuality the animatronic shark was a diva and didn't work properly, so they had to figure out how to film most of the movie without it. Picasso's famous blue period, where he painted these gorgeous pictures of darkness, melancholy, and loneliness all started off because there was a sale on blue paint and he was skint broke. 
iconic cover to the Beatles' Abbey Road album was created because at the time, the Beatles were fighting so much that the original plan to fly the four of them to the Himalayas, the producer realized was not going to work without these 60s love children ripping each other to pieces. So they quite literally changed the name of the album from Everest to Abbey Road and had them stop traffic to take a picture of them just crossing the street. They did the whole thing in 10 minutes, as evident by the fact that McCartney isn't even wearing any shoes. So yeah, things are gonna go wrong for you in new and fantastic ways, but if you give up every time there's a setback, you'll never make any progress. You may have noticed that on my nifty little chart, I left a space between each thing. That is because there is another really important connection between each component. What is that thing? Action. Taking action, keeping moving, always doing something no matter how small is crucial to making the connections to what will eventually be your project. You will get nowhere without action. So as part of the connection components, the most important thing is action. You can't do the thing without doing the thing. You gotta do the thing to do the thing! I still don't know if this video is going to help me, but I hope it does help you guys. I think that having this idea of you can still do work towards your project even if not everything is lining up perfectly. Uh, it really helps me to think that I'm still working toward it and it's not just a someday pipe dream. And you know what? Hopefully this will help lead to bigger and better projects by both me and you. You, whoever you are. I want to see your project. Write it down in the comments. I want to know. Thank you very much for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if that's your thing. And please feel free to share this video to everyone who has projects that you want to see. Got that friend who's always talking about a book or a movie or something? Send them this video to tell them that you want to see it. Do the thing, Melissa!